Lovely. Hey, Excel Roses, you boys go here. And you always can just go all the way around here. All this is yours. Enjoy. Serbia has capitulated. Oh, shit. Okay, they actually managed to die. Bloody hell, they took a time. And then the Aussies, on the other hand, will get their own offensive line. Straight across the country. There we are. And off the Aussies go. Go on, grab Ankara. Wait, that's not the Aussies. That's the bloody... What? Hague. How dare you. Heavy armor divisions can roll for Ankara instead. Swinging that way. There we are. Let's actually get these guys in a fight, shall we? Come on, I want to see the I want to see the cannons go boom. That's quite fun. Oh, and they got some go boom once. Oh, sad. Ottoman Empire has capitulated. George V has announced the cowardly Ottoman Empire could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Australian forces throughout the country. The Ottoman government has chosen to flee the country and gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated, and the United Kingdom is now in control of their home area. But the war against what remains of the Central Powers continues elsewhere. This is a great victory for all the Entente. So there goes the Aussie army. Plentiful victory. What? Fuck you, Empire of Japan. Um, we didn't even get to do the Arab Revolt. What the fuck game? I feel like they've made naval invasions way too easy. Uh, mainly, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's half-half because the British fleet is so good. Uh, or if it's because the Germans just didn't defend their naval, uh, it's called their naval borders. But had I had to push through the, hang on, let's keep rolling, I guess. Romania wants to join our faction. That sounds like a fun idea, Romania. Yay! So I'll tell you what, all these armies are going to be reassigned uh, into here. There we are. Along with the Colonials as well. They can, the Colonials can come to the uh, normal theater again because they're actually going to be fighting there now. Ooh. I can invite Luxembourg to the faction, finally. There we are. Oh, also something I've just realized. My mic has been sideways for a very long time. Ah, uh, there we are. Oh, hopefully I sound a little better. Who else can I... Oh, no, I'm good. There we are. Whoa. How is Germany still not capitulated? Honestly, game. This is mental. Absolutely mental, I tell you. Right. Um, you get, they're all pushing, that's fine. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, double shit! Oh my god. Okay, police force, stop your work, mate. That's, that's some pushing Germans, that is. The fucking Germans. Because the French fell back from that line, the Germans have just pushed forwards. The bloody bastards. Right, tell you what. Eight units is as many as we'll need. So there we go, you boys deploy. Jesus Christ. We almost got fucked there. They actually fought back as I was talking about how shit they were. Bugger me. Yeah, they're, they're not that close to capitulating anymore, that's for sure. Oh, well. Hey, okay. Let's uh, call up the Hellraisers. So, Hellraisers, you're going to go for the sort of south side? Yeah. You're going to go and try and liberate Serbia. And... Get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, liberate Serbia. There we are. Like so. That's fine. Then, Aussie Army, you boys are just going to push up and try and take these mountains. Just connect these mountains up. That's fine. Okay, you're going to get some time to plan. That's all good. Who else? we got the Colonials. Right, the Colonials will be the big difference here. These boys are we pushing straight for Budapest. So, like so. There we are. Just a nice flat line of Budapest. I really wish for the Blitz Command, because this game is lovely. I think I much prefer the way you do the uh, the automatic army commands to the way it worked in Hearts of Iron 3. Because honestly, Hearts of Iron 3 was a cluttered fucking me Oh my god, I'm an absolute fucking idiot. <laughs> Holy shit! Let's have a quick look at our tank division, shall we? Hang on a second. Oh, that's a, that's a South, South American. Let's look at our tank divisions. Here we are. No, no, that's also South American. Where the fuck are... Okay, here we go. Our tank divisions. <sighs> yeah. They don't got tanks. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I thought... 
Wow, these are some really cool tank divisions. Jeez, guys, look at this. They're so cool and fun, and look at all the cool tanky things they can do. We weren't even bloody building any. Jesus Christ. I'm an idiot, and I'm okay. Right, let's deploy two more non-tank divisions and send them to go join the Aussies as well. Fuck me. That was that was stupid. Yeah. I really hate that you can't... Yeah, right, no. There we go, with the Aussies, good. Yeah, clicking on little bits and pieces is a bit hard. Um, let's call up our planes as well. If I can just go all out, boosh. The mighty boosh. Come with us to Mighty Boosh. Could show that. Um, let's deploy over onto East Germany. There we are. Lovely. Okay, let's let's deal with the rest of these. Large ships on low strength. Uh, you should go repair now. That's fine. Low manpower. That's fine as well. Let's just scrap you boys. Uh, make five armoured car divisions. Why are we not building divisions as well? Field guns and support equipment. Okay. A lot of you and you lot. Okay, that's fine. That's all the manpower we'll ever really need. So, let's see. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. Fair, eh? I see, because reinforcements are getting all the stuff. That's why. So we'll split that off. That's fine. Okay, hunters, hunters. You boys push. Go. Oh, look at that wide front victory there. Let's keep going down. Extra research slot. Thank you very much, darling. Um, infantry equipment, yes please. Alright, let's begin the attack, shall we? Oh, fuck me. Oh, they've marched to Bulgaria, who are now actually in the war. Oh, double fuck me, they've taken constant... Oh, how do I keep not noticing this? Okay, we're actually in with a fight on our hands. Oh shit, oh god, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh god, okay, we have to break this immediately. Okay. Um, right, Aussie Army, delete all orders. You spin and focus on these boys here. Hey, tell Razors, delete all orders. You spin and focus on these boys here. Colonial divisions are actually going to just hold the line. Okay, five divisions, sure. You know what, where, where are these five Italian divisions? You boys are going to go join the Aussies in holding this bloody line. Now, hey, tell Razors, oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a very big mistake. What have I done? I've combined all of the Kitchener's army with the Aussie army. Oh, Jesus. Right. You boys. You, 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 you. And I think that's about it. Right, okay. You boys split off into your own army, commanded by that twat. What's his face? Where is he? Caven? Sure. And these 36 guys get back to their actual army, would they? Thank you. Okay, focus on making Munich capitulate. Oh, shit! Shit! Go on, right there. Yes! Okay, Munich is ours. Now, here's the thing. Germany, how close? 93%. In that case, the uh, Hunters' Hunters should be the difference here. There's no more capture points, I don't think. Uh... No, Innsberg's is ours. Right, okay, that's fine. So back to here. Okay, these boys are sort of back in supply, but not really. They're actually running low on org. I think mainly because the ports around here are just shit. No, I know why. Because Constantinople's been cut off. Right, okay. So, in that case, the Aussie army has to push down to Constantinople. Hang on. Set up the front line here. And you boys have just got to swing to Constantinople. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Hague's Hellraisers. They've got the front line. Let's scrap it. Oh, yeah, it was created wrong. Okay, all along here is your front line, and your job is just to take Bulgaria. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you're split into two armies, sure. Right, international security, uh, security militia. Ah, oh, fuck, we're all about to be cut off. I really just got to go, don't I? No. No, hang on, alright. Not just yet. Got to wait for our boys to uh, get to places where they need to go. Right, 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 right. Um, how else are we going to do this? Oh, shit. Okay, that's a hell of a battle. Yeah, we're killing all the Ottomans in here. 
Right, I need to get them some supplies somehow. Shit. Right, I think I really just have to go with the way I was already sticking and just hold it. Oh, hang on. How much for? So you guys are just repairing. Sure. Okay. Alright, have we taken it? That's, uh, that's a bit of Romania. Right, it's fine. No, it's, that's, that's Bulgaria, yeah? No, it's Romania. Right. Let's begin the push. Where are, where are the Aussies? Aussies? You're not in bloody position, are ya? Oh, you daft bastards. We're gonna lose a lot of men here. Uh, okay. Um, Ukraine, how would you like to be my friend? And let me get the fuck out of here, please. Oh, Romania. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, hang on. Let's just get everyone out of here. Stick you all in here. And the Colonials in here as well. Scrap all orders. And go for the port. Fuck it. We have to just go for this port. Where would we go, though? Russia. That's where we'd go. We can't go to Russia, because Russia's not going to be friends with us. Shit. Bolsheviks, I just want military... No, okay, um... Oh, of course, the actual Ottoman Empire that I own. Um, okay. Right, you boys roll to here. You get to there. Um, try and swing that way, actually. And down south. Where are the Aussies? We need to get them out, primarily. Okay, sure, fine. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Where are the Aussies? One's in deep territory, one's not. But we're going to get most of these guys going up north. Swinging around. And taking that port. So that port will be ours. Oh! What the fuck? Hang on a second. Hang on. Why are they so low? Okay, but the attack... We're not going to... We seriously cannot attack. Right, that's fine. I'm wondering. Is there any amount of... We can't take a, a port, obviously, will not supply us. Is there any supply we can get here? Local 2. Right, so that's some supply we can get. Bucharest is a fair bit. Okay. Shit, look at this. These guys have just pulled out. What is happening? What is even happening here? Right, we need to be very careful about this. I think we pull all our boys back into the mountains of Austro Hungary. Aust How do I keep saying that? Austro Hungary. Uh, what? It's Austria, Hungary. There we go. Or Hungary, if you want to be stupid. Uh, so okay, these boys pull back. Grab there. These boys need to pull back as well. Actually, fuck it. Stop attacking. Just go home. Home to the mountains. You, that was a bad spot to flee. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, we're still gonna lose a lot of boys here. Oh, I was not paying attention. Shit. But if we can take Brazov, which we cannot apparently, fuck me, get there. Someone, someone's gonna grab it. Come on. Come on. Why? No. No. Okay. Um. No, this is mental. We can't fight at all. We're gonna lose everyone. Yeah, we've got no fight at all. Hang on. Okay, gather pretty much everyone here. These boys have got to go here instead. Yeah, go down. And then make a last push for lads. Nope, never mind. Okay, they're all dead in the mountains. There goes me tanks. Are the Aussies there too? <gasps> There's one Australian division. Where's the other? Where's the other? Oh, the light horse still may live. We've just got to get some amount of supply, which means capturing a supply point, which means this point right here. Go. Can't do it. We can't attack. We don't have any supply at all. Shit. Where are the units with supplies? Oh, they're back home is where. Meanwhile, the Italians are still here. The Italians! Maybe they can rescue us. Oh, yeah, sure. Just march across the fucking entire country, would ya? Oh, all this attack. Oh, this attack went so badly, and they've still got Constantinople. Okay. If one of us had supply, we could take uh, Polesti. But none of us do.
I'm gonna group everyone up and just hope they survive. Maybe, maybe the Italians really will reach, reach them. Oh god. Right. You boys, oh shit, you guys are in the port. You can just roll over to here. Why aren't we getting supply from Constantinople, I wonder? Oh, sorry, from uh, the Ottoman Empire, I wonder. Oh, we might lose some South Africans. No, can we, can we get them on a boat? South Africans are on a boat too. Okay, we managed to pull four divisions out. Four divisions out. And a whole lot. Whole, whole lot. Is there any Aussies left? The Nigeria Regiment. The Aussie Light Horse. Okay. The closest march is Klug. No, we literally cannot march. We're done. That's it. Watch this. <laughs> oh, no! Hague's Hellraisers is down to 11. Right, well, you know what? Fuck it. They are the Hellraisers. And they're going to do exactly what they have to do. They're going to march all the way. And they're all the way back. And they're going to fucking avenge everyone. So, here we are. Let's deploy a few more units for the Hellraisers, shall we? Fuck me, that went badly. I guess the real question now is, yeah, I can actually move units through, can't I? Right, good. There are ports on this side, right, so they should be able to get on here. And there is supply, good. Portugal, Japan, sure, you boys can join on this. We'll get some revenge for you. What, where the hell are the Portuguese units? Huh? Portugal, where are your units that you've sent me? I'm not quite sure. Oh, whatever. Uh, Japan? Are they back in Japan? Yes, they are. Good. Fine, that's fine. You join the Hellraisers. Um, Hague's Hellish Revenge. There we are. That's what they are now. Aussies, do we have any more troops we can send in to go help with the revenge? Request forces. Four divisions. Yes, here we are. Oh, come on. Yeah, you, you. Oh, come on, they're mine. Get in. Oh, he can't because he's in the sea, isn't he? Oh, bloody hell, the Aussies have heavy tanks. What is this shit? Seriously, Australia. God damn it. Okay, you get in that port. Uh, where's the other Aussie I ordered? Oh, here he is. Come on. There we are. And there we are. Right, so everyone, now we gather them all up. And we stick them on this front. There we are. Okay, give them a bit of time just to show up. Get some more resource stuff. Fine. German Empire. Let's keep. Let's just keep this up. Still has not capitulated. Mainly because they destroyed us here, but still. Let's reassign. And let's just do a new front line for Kitchener. So that'll cover everything. Good. And more importantly, a new offensive line as well. Just want to go straight up here. Let's go like so. Alright, give them a chance to reassign. That's fine. Okay, these boys are almost all ready, I think. The fight's still going in the uh, in the straight. Belgium, you know what, Belgium? You can join in on the, uh, the revenge force. Sure. Come on. Mongolia has capitulated. What? Why is Mongolia... Oh, right, Soviet Russia was telling them. And then they uh, got puppeted. Nice. That's kind of interesting. I quite like that. It's showing. I kind of like, you know, watching how the war, the empires of World War Two are built. Um, why would we ever want that? Let's get bloody. No, far too early for that. Let's maybe get some field up. Uh, it's called artillery upgrade. Sure. Hey, we got a new tech slot. Let's get no. I suppose let's get. Let's get a field hospital. Oh shit! Yeah, we're gonna need it because we are out of manpower. Let's change up our laws, shall we? Because we're still running on limited conscription. Ha! Ah, got manpower again. Nice. Um, yeah, let's let's start developing New Zealand, apparently. Let's give the Kiwis a hand, shall we? Just a little bit. Alright, insufficient. Come on. Come on, come on. I ain't got insufficient or nothing. Get a bit of chromium from Russia, sure. Whole lot of more naval battles, that's fine. Our boys are rolling up. Looks like the Hellraisers are almost ready. Still the home fleet. No, is this the Harwick fleet? No, this is the home fleet, yeah. 
They're just battling it out here. We're going to take Constantinople. Go. Oh, yes. The Italians, the Aussies are still showing up. Greece has joined us. Oh, oh, hell yes, Greece. What good timing. Why, what good timing you have. You can join the Liberation Army, Greece. Um, where, where the fuck did... I always hate this when they are... Oh, there it is. Whenever someone gives me Exhibitionary Forces, I wish the first thing you can click, uh, click is a button that automatically selects all of them. Because otherwise you just lose a few occasionally and end up with like a couple of divisions you own on some random island just chilling. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oops, I should not have done that. You six. I've got six selected. Good. Should have a front line in Greece, actually. You know, the place where you'll actually be fighting. And you, no. That's not where the front line should go from, game. Stop. Six divisions, good. Front line, straight ahead. Lovely. Hags Hunters, off they go. Probably should get back to your uh, homeland now. Uh-oh. 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 You're about to take some uh, losses now, aren't you? Get back and make sure you don't lose your home. There we go. Meanwhile, the army's rolling up. Good, good, good. And as soon as we get it clear, I'm going to send the home fleet into the Black Sea and clear that out of the Ottoman scum. <laughs> How are they? Hang on. Ottomans? No, Austro-Hungarians. Right. I swear I'm still fighting Ottomans, though. Why are there still Ottoman fleets chilling? I sh you should all be get dead and gone. Weird. Canada, you know what? Fuck you. You can't join. Oh, I feel sad now. No, I want the Canadian divisions. I'm just going to go request them anyway because I can do that and I feel so much more powerful. Give me your forces, Canada. I want nine. You gave me eight. No, that's do that doesn't satisfy me. Why, does Why is America massing on the border? In fact, hang on. Aren't you in the Entente? No, you're not. That's weird. I guess the war ain't still uh, anchor me over for a few years, though, is it? Weird. Hang on. See, there we go. This is what I mean. It's a bitch to select all your bloody forces they gave me for free. How dare they? It's so... It's just so annoying. Ugh. So hard to select all the free divisions I'm given. Ugh. Oh, my. Ugh. So hard. Right. Uh, oh, okay. Greeks, you've, you've done a valiant job, but it seems you've just gotten buggered. Um, which I mean is pretty normal for Greek people. Uh, sorry. Spartan people. Uh, but let's go, here we are, like so. Don't worry, we'll definitely rescue you once we're finished taking Constantinople and avenging everyone and burning the Bulgarians alive. Oh, yes, it's going to be happening. Where's this? We got enemy S priority over the Alpine region. Huh. Well, let's keep reassigning our boys, shall we? Let's actually uh, capture Poland. Good, they are rolling up. Oh, come on, slip in there. Get, get me a cheeky encirclement, shall we? There we are. Cheeky. I don't want your division. Alright, perfect. Good, good, good. What are we doing? Oh, shit, I lost a couple of the destroyers there. That's, that's not nice. A couple more destroyers there. Oh, it's just a bunch of Japanese subs. Hell, they're doing work. Oh, Constantinople is ours! Uh-oh, what's happened? I swear to God, game, what are you doing? <gasps> German Empire! German Empire's capitulated. Come on, say it. Say it, game. Do it. Come on. This episode, this last episode has already gone on for way too long. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's the Russian Civil War. It was fought between the Red Army, which was the majority of the Bolshevik minorities, and the Whites, Army officers and Cossacks, uh, the bourgeoisie. Sorry, bourgeoisie. Is it bourgeoisie? I think that's how you say that. Uh, and political groups were entering the far right to the socialist revolutionaries. The whites had backing from the other nations, while the reds support, uh, supported internal domestic support. So yeah. Okay, yeah, right, sure. But hey, look at that, at least Crimea isn't Soviet. Huh. Anyway. Um, yeah, this episode's run on for a lot longer. I, I might split it into two if it still goes on for longer, but I might leave it as one mega episode. You won't. Like, you won't know. Oh, sorry, I won't know. You will. Uh, but, hey, fuck it. Let's make Canada great again. Uh, right, let's see. Vaccination. Heavy industry. No. Um, let's get some bloody... No. What bloody text do I even want? Let's get some tank stuff, sure. Um, oh, nice, 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 nice. We're actually pushing up. There goes the 39 Hellraiser divisions. Sort of pushing slowly. 
You always pull off here and help the attack there. There we are. Much better. Okay. Uh, ooh. No, let's, let's save that for now. Let's get weapons two. Good. Sorry, early support weapons, rather. Ugh. God, it's taking forever. The Germans, that's... We don't really have to worry about here. We just have to worry about up here. Pushing for Warsaw. I swear it looks weird. It looks... We should be going to Warsaw. Anyway. Let's... Yeah, let's just, like... Drop the hunter's orders right now. So we go, screw your orders, hunter. Uh, you're all just going to go along this front here, and you're just going to go straight for Warsaw. Like, that is all you're going to capture. Go. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, there we go. War of movement. So now we'll get 15% breakthrough of the tanks and armor, minus 20 entrenchment, minus 50% entrenchment speed, plus 30 planning speed, plus 15% speed, and plus 5 all glossman moving. There we go. Huh. So I quite like that. They kind of like scrap up the, the tree a bit and they change it to a more mobile one right at the end as you move into World War II. Which is quite fun. What a good moment for that little song to end. It's a nice song. Um, yeah, this is a problem. You guys are getting buggered by the Austro-Hungarians. Um, hang on. Yeah, I think you guys should just try and hold for now. Probably as a smart idea. The Hellraisers are slowly pushing in. South Africa? Sure. Send some divisions. Oh! What are you boys doing? Who are you? You're... Oh, the Canadians. Right. Canadians! Uh, I like how the Hellraisers... Uh, sorry, the Hellraisers, just this multiple force of everyone we've ever met, uh, have somehow ended up being almost as big as the main army. Hang on a second! He just has capitulated, right. Ottoman Empire has capitulated, again, somehow. Oh! <laughs> because the Austro-Hungarians called them into a war, so they uncapitulated for the new war, and then recapitulated immediately. Lovely, game. Eh? That was really intelligent. Why did that ha Why did that even happen? God damn it, game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Still, I'm surprised the Germans have held up the bloody- that counterattack was ridiculous. Well, whatever. Armored Recon, a couple more tanks, a couple more Royal Guards, so you boys can join up with the Hunters. Royal Guards with the Hunters as well. Oh, the Spanish Flu. 500 million people across the world have been confirmed infected, with 50 to 100 million of them are dead. Considering the events of the last few years, simply that they're, uh, perhaps they're being punished for what it has done. Fun fact, the reason why the Spanish Flu was called the Spanish Flu was because it was Spain that was most heavily affected. Except it wasn't. Spain was the only one who didn't lie about how many people died to it. Uh, and the main reason for that is the rest of the world was in, a, uh, was in a bit of a war at the time, so they didn't really want to lie about how many people were also dying from a flu. Which makes a bit of sense, if you think about it. But you know what else would make more sense? Capturing Warsaw so the Germans would capitulate, please. Come on, come on. Any moment now, come on. Bloody hell. Getting pushed back is really hard to take, uh, it's called to retake some territory here. That counterattack was a thing of bloody legends. Oh well, Canada's been uh, developed. That's lovely. I guess we could get some coastal borders, maybe. No, we even want. Oh shit! Extra research slot. Yes, please. Um, new light artillery. Sure, we could use some of that. Nice. Look at all this stuff. Hang on a second. Ah, there we are. Good, good. We're pushing into Bulgaria. If we get them to capitulate, I'll feel nice and happy that they've gotten their revenge. Maybe the Greeks can help out. We'll see. Um, let's see. Where are we? Early light machine gun. Lovely. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, right. I thought that was an opening. Never mind. Hopefully we can uh, reopen Romania's borders and get what's called Serbia up and running again. Hopefully, hopefully. But for now, I think... Yeah, that attack's a bit of a stalemate. Maybe... Who's this? Oh, the French are here. Oh, bloody hell, alright. Sure, sure. We just gotta keep Constantinople open. Constantinople open. Schnopel open. Jopen. Okay, home fleet. Switch up. You boys are now rolling into the Black Sea. Into all here. Lovely. And you now live in Constantinople. Opal, Opal. Come on. Why, why can I not? Oh, there we go. Now set his home base. Lovely. 
Jesus Christ, there are still Ottomans. What is this? Why are there still Ottomans? There's like, what is this? A whole bloody, that's a serious fleet of Ottomans still just rolling around in the uh, Mediterranean. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway. But yeah, that's something they do need to address definitely in this mod, is that broken bloody reinforce rate thing. Because the fact that you cannot reinforce at all on higher difficulties until you get some techs is just stupid. That's not how the game works. That, that, that's broke. That's some broke shit, yo. That's some broke ass shit. Oh, fuck me. I just lost a tank unit. I saw that. That was bullshit. That was bullshit through and through. God damn it. Alright, Portugal me divisions. Where where are the Portuguese divisions exactly? Oh, they have colonies, don't they? Yeah, there's one. Oh. What's this? There's a border conflict in Brazil? What? That's cool. I didn't realize there was a... Uh, Brazilian things. And the Mexican Revolution is still going on. Holy shit. This game is not going... I'm pretty sure I set this as historical. In fact, I'm 99% sure I did, but still. Jesus, this is not how this game is meant to be going. Also, let's unlock the whippet. Um, whippet, whippet, whippet. Alright. Greece wants to send 30 divisions. Greece, where did you get them from? Holy shit, Greece! Where were you hiding these people? Oh, well, the Spartans turned up. Hmm, yeah, they were just sitting in the hills, turns out. Jesus Christ, Greece. I feel like we should also almost give them their own... Yeah, sure, let's give them their own Greek army now. Um, the Greek army shall be led by... Hamilton. Sure, Hamilton can get, it, can get another go. He can get a fair go. Radio. Roll up here. Hamilton can get ready to roll. Cool. Meanwhile, you can get rid of that old order. Sure, there we are. And would you look at that, Romania's being reformed. God damn, we are kicking ass and taking names. Where did they get 30 units from? Honestly. They didn't have anywhere near that. This is like, oh, well, they're hiding in the mountains. The 300 decided to return, apparently. Okay. Now we still got airships. Let's send them all the way to Poland. I like they can still go all the way to Poland and work just fine. Jesus. I guess let's actually get them reassigned, though. There we are. Oh, this, we can actually eat that one. And then you can go into Northern Balklands and fuck over there. Fuck them up over there, rather. Lovely. Hmm. Germany, capitulation. Oh, 95. Nice and close. Poznaz, I think maybe Lols and Danzig should be able to get them to capitulate. Oh! Oh, hello, Portugal. Do you want me to give me that unit, actually? Because I can really use with that unit to go capture Danzig right now. Ah, damn it. Actually, that's a port. Hang on a fucking second. Hang on. All right, you boys, stop your attacks. Everyone roll to the port. Go. Portugal have just won the war for us. Go, quick. Quick, before they get surrounded. Or leave. Doop. And go. No, just march. Go on. Win. Bye bye, Germans. <laughs> oh, there we have. Okay, so there we go. What was that division? Hang on, we want to find the division name as well. It was an infantry type 7 division of Portugal that won the war for us. Nice. Hang on. We're going to leave one army here at least. The rest can move on. Good. Next one retreats to Konigsberg. Done! George V has announced that the cowardly German nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of British forces and Portugal throughout the country. The German government has chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated, and the United Kingdom is now in control of their home area. Though the war against what remains of the Central Powers continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Entente. Holy shit. Kitchen's housewives, rethink your battle plans, because you're about to go to war. Right, into Austro-Hungary, there we are, and, you know, hunters, hunters, you guys have done a fucking good job. 
So we're just going to get you relaxing. You guys are on garrison duty. You get to beat up any Germans that look at you funny. How's that sound? My god. Well, we're one third of the way there. Let's just cover up all the bloody Germans. Jesus Christ, you're not going to have enough troops to cover it, will you? At least they'll be able to delay any uh, Austro-Hungarian counterattacks as well. Okay, perfect. Right, so that's all good. Now we want to have a look at something else. Uh, are we third of the way there? Yeah, there we go. So the uh, only major faction member left is Austria-Hungary. Oh, sorry, Austria-Hungary. There we go. I still can't say it right. I always say one with the Ian at the end. But oh my god, look at that. They're all starving as well. They ain't got enough food. Perfect. They're all going to die now. The Greeks are going to ensure that. Look at this. Oh my. Serbia's being liberated as well. We're bringing Serbia back into the fold. Hell yes. South Africa wants in a little more. Sure. Let's actually get some Kiwis in it as well. Hang on. Let's go like this. Eggs. We got... Oh, here's all the Portugal divisions. <laughs> They're just chilling in Africa, apparently. Okay, let's bring you all in... Uh... All into Hague's Hell... Hague's Hell Raising... Sorry, Hellish Revenge. That's what it's called. Uh, let's call in some uh, Aussie divisions. Oh, there's one. Where's two? Uh, where's my second Aussie? Hello? I've lost him. Well, whatever. Let's also call in some... Uh, let's call in some Kiwis. Get them in the actual battle. Holy shit, they have seven units... Where, though? Where are those seven units? We just lost all the Kiwis. Okay, there, there's some... Oh, there's some Kiwis. Righto. Yeah. No, they're already mine. I'm really bloody confused. Where are all the Kiwis? Oh, there's, there's some Aussies, I think, at least. What are you? What's your little flag say? Uh, you are Aussie, I think. Well, you're mine now. Whatever. Um, let's just go after that. Sure. Holy crap, we have a lot of tech now. Let's go for the best techs. These two. There we are. New weapons, new industry. Because Austro-Hungary is about to fall. I still I stood it wrong. Jesus. Jesus, I still said that wrong. Have to check myself every time and I still get it wrong. Right. No, oh, we're not actually going to win that battle there. Hey, War of Movement and the new gun. Hello, hello, hello. So, War of Movement, let's start with the grand battle plan. No. Superior firepower. Oh, plus 20% soft attack. Yes, please. I love it. I think someone said as well this was the best division. I think it was someone said this one was the best far and away. It was either that or Mo. I think it was this. Uh, they said pretty much everything was dog shit. Then again, always, people always say shit about that. I hate people who go along and say, well, actually, this is the best thing at non, like, full stop. That's it. It's just the best thing in this game, so do that. I'm like, well, actually, shut the fuck up, because I want to play with different things and have fun, and or you're wrong. So, eat a dick. Yeah, it just always happens with games where people come out with, the number one strategy as to why everything is dog shit apart from this one thing and play this thing only. It's kind of like, that's a, that is a problem in the multiplayer, though, of this game, the Space Marines division. There's one division type, and it's basically, I think, m Mountaineers or Marines, uh... Some artillery, self-propelled artillery, sorry. Uh, and a tank destroyer or a heavy tank of some kind, I think is that. And basically it's just the best division in the game. Like, you, you don't really get much better than that uh, for as cheap as it is. Because it has hardness, it has armor piercing and so on and so forth, you know. And it's just an all-rounded division. And the reason why if you go for tank destroyer, you still get hardness, but you also get tank destroying capabilities. So you can defeat other space marine divisions, which means it just ends up being a race war against, you know, armor and all that. Um, which ends up being, because you never really can have an armor division, it's, you can't have enough armor divisions really to make a, a difference, which is a real problem in this game I find, where I'm really hoping they're releasing like a special forces bundle or something, because Hearts Island 3 had the garrison division, they had, Hearts of Iron 3 has a huge range of divisions, and the problem with Hearts of Iron 4 is most of the divisions you see are just infantry and some artillery, and that's it, there's no, no variation there, there's no, oh, maybe I should move some guys up north to counter those armored cars coming in to kill me, or, no, so maybe that, like, motorized division. Because motorized on their own are just pointless. You know, you always put them with something else, usually, unless you're looking... Unless you're, like, a miner with a quick attack force. I use them pretty... I pretty much in place of cavalry for small quick attacks. But on a large front, they're pointless, really. You know, you never really are doing... Maybe with blitz commands, motorized will be useful again. Because you can actually 
blitz them forwards and have them run faster than everyone else. Eh, maybe. I'm just speculating. Oh. Oh, sorry, I thought I'd actually pushed in because I couldn't see the <laughs> couldn't see the bloody war beneath all these names. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, Vienna, come on. We gotta make Vienna fall. Come on. We're almost here. It'll be all ours. I wonder if we can get anyone else in on the battle. Um where do we go down here? Get some... What did this give us? Some some stuff, I guess? Naval bases, land forts. Oh, toss it. Let's just go. Get some construction effort. I don't... This is the problem, is that focuses mean so little in this mod that I just don't care to get them. I just don't really care at all. They're just kind of shitty. I mean, like, yay, focuses. Another one thing. Another tiny amount of political power. Another, 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 so on and so forth, because there's a shit ton of them as well. Cool. There we are. Oh, bloody hell. Oh my god, this thing is still rolling around, and the, J the, sorry, the Japanese got destroyed by it. I think we're almost, we're almost wiped it out, though. It's down to five. Holy shit, this must be like the most elite fucking battle cruisers ever known to man. They're fighting off fleets, they've got no supply, they've got no port. They're fighting for days. They killed... Oh, look how many. We just lost two. Shit me. Everyone's dying. Oh, rip in pieces. God damn. I guess... Let's just get the Mark IV, sure. I like that we now got, what, six... Bloody hell, I think six slots. I'm not sure if... I think is five slots the most or six slots the most you can get in an of Iron Vanilla. I'm trying to remember. Maybe as a, maybe like America as a major, but I think as a minor, usually you can get at most four or five, depending whether you start with two or three. Because yeah, you get two bonuses, one for the uh, tech and then one for the tech when you have someone in the faction with you that has more than 50. Um, more than 50 factories. Or maybe you can get three, because you can also get the one that requires you have 50 factories, I think. Or is that, is that a tech? I'm trying to remember. I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh well. How are we doing? Man, we really need to push in a little harder. Um, I think we should start training up some more men. Yep. Let's make them all royal guards. Tough as nuts. Let's send them in. Let's send them all in with tanks. Fuck it. Let's do it. All of you guys will be sent in with heavy tanks. And we're going to send in 40 width divisions. Our own version of World War One Space Marines. See me up. Yep, yeah, there we are. Okay, 36. So let's, uh... Oh, we don't have spell-propelled artillery, do we? Let's switch one up to, uh, to heavy artillery. And then... Make these guys... Do we have... We only have marines. They're actually not going to be as good. Their breakthrough is a little better. Their organization's a little better. HP's a little lower. Nah, fuck it. We'll leave, we'll leave those guys as is. And put some re-equipped infantry in. And there we have it. A 40 width. And also, of course, the best thing is a 44 width. So let's throw in a few more tanks and then stick them... Ah, oh, no, sorry. Ah, oh, let, let's do it. Screw it. We'll send them through uh, Hague's because Hague is the one that has the uh, minus 10% width. All right, there we go. The Royal Guards are now Space Marines. Oh, I've made a mistake. The mistake I've made is I've made the Royal Guard Space Marines, which has made all of the Royal Guard, including the ones already deployed, Space Marines. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's a big oops. Oh. Oh. I guess let's go down here and let's get some more buildings, because I'm going to need them. Yep, I am going to need a whole lot more tanks. There we are. Oh, bug me, right. Let's skimp on somewhere else. So let's make, what, like three lines of tanks? There we are, fine. And let's skimp on some siege artillery, because they don't need as much. And let's skimp on the armoured cars. Leave the motorised as is, and the rest can be the f all the same. Good. Right. We're going to need some more in uh, industry techs, I think. Because we fucked up. Sure, get that. Oh god, that's going to be a lot of rearming. Oh well, 
I think the war will be over by the time these guys get their weapons. Jesus. Still taking a long time to crack this nut. Oh well. Oh, let's keep making more tanks, shall we? The problem is all these broken bloody factories. Ugh. No fun. Also, I have just realized there's, sh there's resistance in the Ottoman Empire as well. Hang on a second. Oh, piss off. Actually, no, there's not. In fact, there's barely any. I wonder, hang on, can resistance grow if I'm not occupying them angrily? Minus 40%. No, it's just gentle. It really means they don't grow much at all. Let's go gentlest with both of these. Because I'd rather not... Hang on, 10 factories? Okay, you know, no, let, let's... Fuck you. Let's just go, like, just complete harshest. Screw your manpower. Harshest. Yep. Good. Fine. Harshest. Get us a shit ton of factories. Same with Hijaz and Austro-Hungaria. There we are. Lovely. France, I don't care. Greece, sure. Portugal, sure. I'll sure your divisions will be across the bloody world. Lovely. And let's spend all of these things on tanks. Oh, these are all broken factories. Ugh. Oh, well. Um, let's make some more capital ships. There we go. Lovely. Right. Where are we? So, one division should be joining the Greeks. There we are. Oh, fuck me sideways. I made a mistake. You know what? Toss it. Toss it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> we're about to win, so we just go the mega army. It's happening. We're done. Yep, screw it. The Mega Army. This is the Mega Army now. Kitchener's Housewives. Oh, no, no, no. Look at Kitchener as well. He's a fast planned, a defensive doctrine, offensive doctrine, organization first, logistics wizard. He is, of course, the Mega Army. And we're just going to scrap your orders. Go a complete encirclement, which is... Hang on. Yeah, if we, if we put a front line here, is that... Why is it not a complete... Okay. Here. And... And let's do this properly. Oh god. Okay, uh where are we? Select half. In here. So there we go, that's where, why is that cut off? Oh I see, because that actually goes into our province, right? It's a little weird, right. And then you boys just march across. Like so. Now the other half oh shit, how do I select the inverse? Oh it's not bloody possible. Right, well hang on. You lot. Okay, there we go. Now we're selecting the inverse. Uh, go from here. And just march in. There we are. And now we recombine the armies. And rather we recombine them like this. And there we go. With a little bit of wizardry, we now have two separate uh, armies that can now attack in... Sorry, we've got a single army combined with two separate orders. And half work on one, half work on the other. Lovely. Now, can we get some military access from you? If we're going to grant your independence and sorry, guarantee your independence, can we please, please have some military access? Come on. Come on. Just open your doors. Won't be too hard. Come on. Come on. Bloody hell, I just need to march through your bloody lands. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much I can do, is there? Well, bugger. Uh, let's just try and break this little German gap then. Sorry, Austro-Hungarian app. G app? Yes, it's an app. Steve Jobs is in instrumental in blocking my army. It's one bloody little province. Yeah, we just got to push them out of here and then we can link up the two armies. And that'll be right fine. Okay, main attack begins. Look at all those green pluses. Holy shit. Oh, it's beautiful. And how did... How did you guys get here? I, well, I guess... Oh, hang on. I've got to turn my army on offensive, of course. Oh, good. They are. Nice. I love these little modifiers here. They're great. Full offensive. Begin the attack, comrades. Or well, not comrades, because the comrades... How is your civil war still not over? Honestly. Really. You're still at civil war. How does this always happen? 
Right. Oh no, you are getting beaten. I think Russia might actually win this though. It's weird. Soviet Russia might not win. Hmm. What a strange thought. Meanwhile, the Austro-Hungarians are still not moving out of the bloody way. And in fact, I think I've just given up altogether, apparently. We might link up in the middle instead. Because we're reviving Serbia, bringing it back into the fold. That's fine. How's the north going? Oh, here we are. There's a gap. What's this brave division called? Hang on. Ah, the, the 40th Infantry Division, of course. A brave division with many uh, years, I guess, of experience. What are you guys? You're actually just regular, so, I don't know, maybe some training. <laughs> Such a brave division. No, no, no. Stop. Okay, pull out. There. Push north. Okay, that's not going to work, clearly. Um, right. Let's stick this infantry guy here into there. Lovely. Just keep trying to slip around. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, we've done it! Austro-Hungary has capitulated, leaving no one as the major member. Here we go. Wait for it. Holy shit, look at that score! And this is how World War One ended, with me taking Constantinople to start with. We, of course, want Berlin. Pomeran, Mechel... Actually, no, let's make some different things as well. Let's... Uh, trying to change the government of Hejaz. Sure, screw it. Hejaz can be their own de uh, democratic thing. Ottoman Empire. Uh, we're going to liberate Iraq. Hmm. Yemen. Kingdom of Jordan, Syria, and Azir. Okay. Lithuania, Poland! Yes, we will rescue you! Now, uh... What else? We also want... We want Vienna. Of course we do. Prague. It's a great this time of year. Uh, go down to here. Slovenia. Bosnia. There we are. Perfect. Uh, let's grab these mountains here as well. Just to connect up our territory. Let's take the Sudetenland just to really annoy Germany. Um, how many? How much more of Germany? Let's take Frankfurt, because I like those. Uh... Take all the way up to the territory captured. Good, 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 good. Um, Ostprussen, yes, of course. Let's let's take. Hey, wait, we're, we're, we're liberating the Polish, aren't we? So we can't actually take Poland. Oh no, no, hang on. So it's Lodz, Polk, Warsaw's, and all that. Right. So I just have to take everything but the Polish lands. That's fine. Now, what else do I need? I think. Can we just take all of Germany? Toss it. All of Germany is mine. I don't care about the colonies. Um, let's take Budapest. Oh, never mind. Okay, can we cut back slightly anywhere else? No. We need to cut back a little bit further. I think, hang on, let's hold on to here and let's cut the stuff away around the French border. Here we are. Okay. Let's switch up and take Franken instead. Okay, so we end our turn. Huh. Okay, what else happened? Is Poland a thing? I want. I wanted to liberate Poland. Oh, I think Poland's a thing. Nice. So I can take Poznan's now. Uh, we'll grab up here as well. Nice. Okay. Grab down. Oh, never mind. We need to only grab that stuff. That's fine. Now we can nom up all this. No, we can't. We still don't have enough bloody stuff, do we? Let's just get this little province next to Luxembourg, shall we? Oh, okay, so the French went for that. The bloody bastards. There we go, rest of my territory here. And now, now, oh, now, oh, now. Let's claim up the rest of the Ottoman Empire for me. Oh, my. Kara, yes, thank you. All of this is mine. Let's take a little bit of the colonies here. Sure, just to really piss someone off. Um, Bulgaria. Let's take back the land that killed all my guys as well. What else? Oh, bloody the French bastards got that. I should have given that to Australia. Okay, and... Oh, Kingdom of Hungary, Czechoslovakia. Sure, in turn. And then we take all states. 
Oh, come on. Done. Pass. Look at how much world tension we're about to make. 133%. Whoa, okay. So, Empire of, uh, sorry, UK, not a kingdom, took 73 states. France took 11, Japan took 1, Italy took 5. Democratic Party, Democratic, has been put in power in Hijaz. Democratic Party, uh, Grosting Dusch Volks Party, has been put in Austria. Liberal Entente has been put in Turkey. Oh, that's quite nice. Turkey's been a, there's actually a thing for Turkey. Nice. Um, Democratic Party, SPD, has been put in the power of Germany. Democratic Party of USLPD has been put in the power of Republic of Bulgaria. Iraq was liberated. Yemen was liberated. Kingdom of Jordan, Syria, Azir, Lithuania, Poland, uh, Kingdom of Hungary, Yugoslavia, and Czechoslovakia. Right, well, what a lovely way to end this. Look at all these fucking fractured states I've made. We've got Hungary, we've got bloody... Oh, hang on. Austria, I think, is split into three separate parts, because that's intelligent. Yugoslavia separated, Romania, we've got some Greece, France in here as well, Republic of Turkey, there we are, Syria, Palestine, who's this? Oh, that's Lebanon, right. Uh, Iraq, Yemen, Yemen! Uh, what else? God damn. Actually, you know what would be interesting? Does Australia have claims on the north here? No, they actually don't, huh. Wow. Look at that. Let's... Hang on, are you... What sort of division here? The hell are you? You're Portugal. Sure, you roll over the mega army. Okay, so look over here again. We've got uh, Yupin, which is a lovely little state we can talk to Luxembourg with. Luxembourg have four tank divisions. How the fuck did this war happen? Honestly, how do you have four tank divisions? How is there more tanks in World War One than there is in normal Hearts of Iron? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Um, superior firepower. Lovely. Russia's sort of lost their territory here. Yep. But I think they're still going to win the Civil War, especially with my uh, bloody material support. Tell you what, let's let's have a quick look before we end the end the game. Because this is actually this was great fun. I was I was surprised. I had a real challenge towards the end. They only have eleven divisions. Are you kidding me? But yeah, look at this. This is actually oh oh oh. We don't just have eleven divisions. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we've got, we've got some other divisions elsewhere, apparently. Holy shit. That's... Look at this man's beard! How is he not the leader of the entire army? We even got a field marshal? Look at the Russian generals are the best. Holy shit. God damn. I want beard guy to rule the whole army. Okay, who's the best field marshal we've got? This guy here. Screw it. Right, everyone. Everyone's under this guy's command now. So he's under here. Watch this. This is how we win. Okay, select up. Hang on. All these armies. Nom, nom, nom. Everyone joins this guy. And we do the good old link up right on this border. What? Push for St. Petersburg. Lovely. Okay, welcome back real quick. I'm because I was just gonna I was gonna cut most of this fighting out once I'd done the armies and Wow Wow I was wondering why they were only building civilian factories. Apparently that's because they have a hundred and thirty just lying around and yet no military factories. What the fuck, Russia? Where did you get a hundred and thirty from? Hang on. It's not from trade, is it? Let's let's just check. Um from occupation is 114. Harshest? 141. You're kidding me! How did we get so many? Were they building nothing but civilian factories all game? That's the only thing I've got to think about. Like, where did they come from as well? Because it went from zero to like a hundred. Oh. All in here, apparently. They were building nothing but civilian factories. Look at these fucking civilian factories! This is mental! I know why Russia lost the bloody war. They're like, let's build more toys! Yay! Whoa, hang on a second. The Empire of Japan just declared war on Soviet Russia. What? Apparently the Entente is getting in on this. 
Yeah, that's a thing. Holy shit, everyone's getting into this. Um, <laughs> This game is so weird. In this universe, the Russian Empire held forever. And apparently then the Entente joined in and whopped them to death. What? What even? What even? Oh no! What a raven! Soviet Russia has capitulated. What a way to end the war. Look at that. There we go. Hang on a fucking second. The Russian Empire took 72 states. 12 and nanos part was made. But how are they still a thing? No, that's not how this works. What? How do they just... Titan 12 But the Russian... Soviet Russia is apparently still a thing. I I have no words for how this has actually occurred. What? They weren't even puppeted. They're just Soviet Russia. I am so confused. Sure. And that is how the world ends. So thank you everyone for watching. And thank you, Shadow Knight 5518 for encouraging me, rather, to make this one immediately, because fuck you. I was still going to make it just a few days later, but I guess, I guess I could put out one a little bit earlier. This will probably almost definitely be split into two episodes, because it went for way longer than I intended, but that was quite fun. Nice little end. The end of the Russian Civil War, so everyone is now at peace. I wonder if any more events happen, because it's still 1920. I wonder, maybe there's not too many. Ah, well. I'm going to go edit this now and then crash and fall asleep. Till then, everyone. Farewell. Well.